All right, welcome to an unboxing. Um, I have a new band box. Um, this is the May 2023. Um, today is, as I'm recording this, it's <laughs> it's six o'clock in the morning on June 8th. Um, it came in June 6th. No, June 5th, Monday. So it shipped on Wednesday, May 31st. Um, I, I went through my emails to see what it possibly could be. And I went by what email I got around the time and I saw, uh, Spider-Man across Spider-Verse, Transformers and Marvels and Dexter Laboratory, but I didn't know right now that was really it or if that was June. So I found... A Twitter post that actually tells me what May is and the reason why I didn't and I know the reason why I didn't uh skip it which I, I wouldn't I wouldn't skip well I mean the June one which I already got sucked into buying um, I only half like <laughs> uh, I didn't watch Dexter's laboratory in the 90s <laughs> Um, not really. I watched some. Um, anyway. But this box is the franchise for the Bam Geek. This is Bam Geek box. Is the Sandman, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, Batman the Anime Series, and Weekend at Bernie's. Um, it's a $35 box. After shipping, it ends up being like 48 bucks. Shipping and tax. That's it, it's like ten dollars for shipping alone. Uh, so, um, <laughs> uh, they end up doing. They still do this thing where they give a clue as to what the autograph is, and the clue is pretend, <laughs> which makes me think it's weekend at Bernie's. As to who it is, uh, if you look at the main cast, which. I just looked up who played Bernie and I forgot the guy's name again, but, um, he is still alive. <laughs> uh, but you have, uh, Andrew McCarthy and, uh, Jonathan Silverman as the two main guys other than Bernie. <laughs> Sorry. I'm always having to adjust cause I'm always uncomfortable. So, um, It would surprise me if it was uh, Andrew McCarthy. It could be. Um, so, like the thing is, like I mentioned probably in another one, is that this tends to have like this one like nostalgia one, and Weekend at Bernie's would be the nostalgia one. Just like the June one, Dexter's Laboratory would be the nostalgia one. Now, although Batman the Anime Series is also <laughs> 30 years old, so that's also nostalgia, but... I think Weekend at Bernie's is the one that's closer to that nostalgia thing in, in, in terms of being that entry. Because Batman anime series, because it's it's Batman property. And I, this is like my fourth or fifth BAM box that has something Batman in it. Hey, so much. Um, I did also, uh, last week they did announce um, that in six, they're only going to have six more boxes. So I guess they're going to be doing something different afterwards, but there's only going to be six more BAM boxes and they're going to supposed to do like somewhere in the middle of June, a possible thing where you can go ahead and pay for six up front or something to get the last six. I don't know why not I would do that because that means committing to those that I don't know what the franchises are. Um, let's go and open this up because we have the Sandman, which I still haven't watched the Netflix show. I'm still mad that I haven't watched it yet. I've read the first volume of comics. Uh, we have Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, which is a freaking awesome movie, because Guardians of the Galaxy trilogy as a whole has just been like a super solid uh, entry in the MCU. And then, of course, Batman the Anime Series, which I even I watched that. I didn't like watch every episode and stuff, but I do know watching um, the Fox Kids lineup, because in my location... We had it split where you had morning and afternoon, but this was predominantly like afternoon 
stuff. So it's like something you can watch after school. And like I was in elementary school. So, um, yeah, I remember, I remember it. I remember watching it. Uh, I've mostly watched Power Rangers, but yeah. So let's open and see what we got. So we'll have a print. I think the Sandman could be a print. Um, Batman the Anime Series in Gotham. I mean, not Gotham. <laughs> I wrote G-O-T-G, -G, so I'm thinking uh, Guardians 3. Something's going to be prop. Something's an autograph. Ooh, oh, yeah, and this box was also kind of like big. So you have this black paper. Mm -hmm. Black tissue paper. It's going to stick it right there. Oh, this in bubble wrap. Ooh, this is something solid. I'll probably hold off on that one. Let's look at the pen. The pen is Joker. So here's your Batman AMA series. It's a pen. So yeah, Joker pen. And of course, in the Batman AMA series, Joker was voiced by Mark Hamill. Um, Batman, of course, was voiced by the late Kevin Conroy. So we got a Joker pen. All pins have a limited one-time release. Rare pins will have num will be numbered on the back. Oh yeah, that's right. You take it off to see whether or not it's numbered. I don't think I did it with the last one because I, I kind of forgot that. If it's got a number on the back, then it's rare. No number. Wasn't expecting it. <laughs> Okay. Um, it's going to be kind of hard to take. I got to go ahead and take this out. So this is, this would be Sandman. It's a skull. <laughs> I have a Halloween decoration. I don't have a Halloween decoration. So it's a skull. All right, now we have the print, and then we have an autograph. So Guardians would be the print then. Boom. Here's your Guardians. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, and then it says May 5th, 2023. It came out May 4th. Hmm. No Mantis on here. Or Nebula. But it has Gamora, even though most of the... A lot of the, the toy lines and all that stuff generally does not have Gamora because she's technically not part of the Guardians. <laughs> it's because it, it, this is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 is that only Guardians film in which you actually do need an Avengers film. You actually need Avengers 2 Avengers film. You need Infinity War and Endgame. That way you know the deal with Gamora. So... And these are numbered. This is 103 of 150. So there's 150 that's this print. I have number 103. So then we're going to look at the autograph, which is definitely Weekend at Bernie's. I can't get it out. <laughs> oh, no, it's Terry, uh, Terry Kisser, the guy that actually played Bernie. I just said he was still alive. I just didn't know where or not he did a signing. So, I got Bernie's autograph. And this picture totally cuts off Jonathan Silverman's head. <laughs> a little bit of Andrew McCarthy's. All of Jonathan Silverman's cut off. But that's okay, because the main thing is, is I got the autograph of Terry Kisser? Kaiser? Sorry. Who played Bernie. And it is Beckett Authenticated. It is 164 of 250. And I got a QR code I can scan to verify it. So that's that's pretty awesome. And now we have what's in the box. Scan the code. See the options. View past boxes. Oh, so you don't have a thing. You have to scan the code. 
Ah, I don't have my phone. Hmm. I have a link in the description to the Bambox site, and I don't know if you're if you're interested. There have other ones. It's Bam. There's Bam Geek. There's Bam Anime, and there's horror. But this is the this is the last year of them. But I guess it's that they're going to do something new, different. It could be um. It could be, I think they they do some whatnot op auctions and stuff, so they're probably going to focus on other things. I don't know. So that's it. Night.